Can I, can I have my chance tonight? God is feeling, God is feeling out of time. My name is Armand J.S. Spirit of God. I'm going to give you a word and a short news on tonight. Now, first, we're going to start with uh, a woman fell in a well. You know, it was in a home. You know, so a woman recovered after falling in a well inside a South Jersey home. You know, now she fell 20 feet down into a well. You know, and there, um, there is no information how she felt in there. You know, they're still trying to figure out how she felt in there. So they don't have no information on that right now. The firefighter, you know, crew had worked to free a woman who was trapped in a well inside of a home. You know, and this happened along on 200 block of Woodshow, um, their town. You know, so thank God, you know, she's okay. You know, she's recovering now. She has minor little um, um, cuts and wounds and stuff like that, but she's recovering and she's okay. You know, so thank God for that. You know, so the birth of John, the Baptist, you know, so, you know, we still doing Bible study from front to back. You know, and this going to come from Luke chapter 1, 5 to 25. So in the time of Herod, king of Judah, you know, there was a priest named Zechariah, now who belonged, you know, to the priest in the division of Abja, and his wife Elizabeth was also a deceiving of Aaron. Now, so both of them is kept to um, Aaron and Moses. You know, so Zechariah is a priest, you know, and him and his wife, both age, you know, don't have no children. Both of them in the age, they don't have no children. So a Jewish priest, you know, was a minister of God who worked at the temple managing is and managing and teaching the people the scriptures and directing the worship service. And they all preached what to see from from Aaron and Moses. You know, so both Zechariah and Elizabeth was from preaching in line, minister in a temple at one time. So they had so many, they had so many priests who was preaching at the same time in this temple. You know, so they had divided into groups. Zechariah was a, a member of, of the division and Zechariah was on duty and that he was chosen that day to enter the holy place. You know, so God was guiding the event of the history to prepare the way for Jesus to come to earth. You know, so both of them, there was both of them was righteous, you know, righteous people, you know, in the sight of God and deserving all the law command, you know, command in degree blameless. Now Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth, they didn't um go through the um motions of, of following God law. They back up their outward um, compliance with inward confidence, you know, obedience. Now, Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth did not stop with the letter of the law. Their obedience was from the heart, and that is why they are called righteous in the sight of God. You know, so, but they were childless, you know, because Elizabeth was not able to conceive, and they were both very old. You know, so they pray, they pray to God for years um, for a child, you know, until they got old, you know. And so not having children in the incense of culture and was hard wrenching for Zachariah and Elizabeth. They had prayed for a child often for many years, you know, with no result. But this did not discourage them from trusting in God, even though it took a long time. You know, but that discouraged them. They just kept on praying to God. You know, so their prayers wasn't answered immediately, but they kept trusting in God. So God answered prayers in His own way, in His own time. You know, now He worked in an impossible situation. You know, because this is a situation where they both is in age. You know, and they've been praying for so many years. You know, so Elizabeth aged barriers to bring about the fulfillment of all the prophecies concerning the Messiah. You know, so once when Zachariah's um, division was on duty and he was serving as a priest before God, he was chosen by a lot according to the custom of the priesthood to go into the temple, into the Lord, and burn incense. And when the time for the burning of incense came, all the assembly worshippers was 
praying outside. Now see, all all that symbol was, was outside praying. And so Zechariah went inside because he, you know, he the priest. So he had to go inside and burn the incense and everything else. So, so he started praying inside while the assembly was outside. But then he going to catch us up. He was in there a long time while they still praying and had to stop and finish. So incense were burn in the temple twice a daily. And so he, he was praying and all the assembly was praying and worshiping outside. So then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right side of the altar of the Israel. So when Zechariah had saw him, you know, he was he was started, startled, and he gripped, you know, with fear. You know, so he saw the angel, he got scared. So the angel, uh, or spirit being who live in God present and do his will, only two angels are mentioned, Michael and Gabriel, now to deliver a special message to Zechariah. You know, but the angel has said to him, Do not be afraid. Zachariah, your prayers have been heard. So the angel let him know your prayers have been heard. Because remember, he was in the temple. He was just he was praying. He was praying. And your wife, he said, Your wife Elizabeth will bear your son, and you are to call him John. You know. So John name means the law is gracious, and Jesus um name means the law is saved. Both names were uh, prescribed by God and not chosen by human parents. You know, so they both was an age, you know, but both prayed for a long time and God answered their prayers and they would have a son named John. Now, you know, John going to be the Baptist. He going he to be, be the one that's going to prepare the way for Jesus. You know, so he will be a joy and a delight to you and many will rejoice because of his birth you know now for he will be great in the sight of the lord now he is never to take wine or other fermented drink and he will be filled with the holy spirit you know this is gonna be a child now he can already be filled with the holy spirit so even before he is born he will he will bring back many other people of israel to the lord they God. you know and he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the heart of the parent to the children in disobedience to the uh, wisdom of the righteous. To make ready for the people to prepare for the Lord. Now he going to make the people right because he's going to be preaching to the people and he also preparing the way for Jesus. You know, so he going to talk to the people. You know, to try to bring them back to God and also try to prepare the way for uh, for Jesus. So the angel Gabriel had told him in detail what kind of child they have. Zechariah, the son that would grow up to prepare the way for the Messiah. The shock of seeing, you know, and hearing an angel and being told details about the future was overwhelming. But even with the angel, Visit Zachariah still couldn't believe that this was happening to him, and now this child will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, all that stuff the angel was telling him, you know, he's still in shock, you know, he still like can't hardly believe it because then they prayed so long until they had and got old, and now the angel telling him that this will happen. You know, so John wrote as a prophet to encourage people to turn away from sin and back to God. So Gabrielle compared, you know, John to um the great prophet Elijah. Now she compared John to Elijah. You know, Elijah was a great prophet too. You know, so who was known for standing up to uh, evil rules and corrupt the religion leader? Zechariah asked the angel, "How can I be sure of this? That I am old?" An old man and my wife is well along in age. You know, so an angel, you know, has said to him that I ain't got here. You know, I stand in the presence of God. And I have been sent to speak to you and tell you this good news. You know, and now you will be silenced and not be able to speak until the day of this happened. Because you did not believe my words, you know, which will come true at the appointed time. You know, so... He he um he didn't believe that uh, his wife can have a uh, a child, you know. So Zachariah asked questions, meaning he was in doubt. The angel word now his doubt was understandable that he had been praying for God to intervene for years, 
you know, so now this time is here, you know, uh, but with God, anything is possible. He thinks because they're in that age, he don't think it's going to happen, you know. So meanwhile, the people was waiting for Zechariah and wondering why he stayed so long in the temple, you know. So he just coming out. You know, he'd been up in there for a long time. You know, so remember why Zechariah was in the temple praying, all the people was outside, you know, waiting on him to come out. So then when he when he coming out, you know, uh he could not speak to them and they um realized that he had seen they thought he seen a a, a vision or something. You, you know, uh so he kept making signs. He kept making signs, you know, to them, but remained unable to speak due to his doubt. Now, he didn't believe the angel, you know, but God used even Zechariah's doubt for good. You know, he's unable able to speak, give evidence to others that something powerful had happened. You know, so when this time of service was complete, he returned home, and after this, his wife Elizabeth had became pregnant. So time he time he went home, you know, she was pregnant. You know, and for five months remained in seclusion. You know, because he didn't believe he had to wait till she had to be. So Zachariah had said, "The law had done this for me," and she said, "In these days." He has shown his favor and taken away my disgrace among the people. So Zechariah and Elizabeth were both godly people, but yet they had problems suffering. And we think someone, you know, sometimes you could think someone is doing so good, you know, and all the while you don't know what that person is going to. You know, they're, they're being a, a good, happy couple, but all the while something was missing. You know, she couldn't have no children. You know, and they both been childless, you know, for so many years, you know, but God answered their prayers, you know, changed their situation, and they felt humiliated and hopeless, and God took their disgrace, but God was waiting for the right time to encourage, and and now they is having a child both in old age. And they're gonna have they're gonna have a great child because as as birth, as a child he gonna he gonna be filled with the Holy Spirit, you know, and he's gonna be the one to talk to the Israelite to to uh to bring them back to God. He also gonna prepare the way for Jesus, you know, to have people already know what, what's coming along, you know. So that's all the story I have for this day, the birth of John, um. And we also talk about this woman had fell in this well, and it was like 20 feet down. You know, but thank God they had God, they pulled her out. You know, and thank God she's recovering. She don't have no serious wound or wound or nothing like that. She's still recovering. You know, so she is okay. You know, so we're going to hear more of it because they're still investigating on how she fell in the hole. You know. So I still give you more update on this power tomorrow whenever they have, they have update on how she felt. You know, so that was like 20 feet down. That was a long way down she had went. You know, thank God she's still alive. You know, so that's all I have for today. Y'all have a nice day, and I'll see y'all on the next video.